what is going on everybody there is an event happening in pokemon go right now where there are increased shiny odds for a specific pokemon this event is called blaze new trails and with it debuts a brand new legendary into the game as well as a brand new feature into pokemon go which i'm sure you guys are all aware of called routes yes roots are out yeah, I'm going to be switching between the two, all video. And what routes are basically is just you can map your walking path in Pokemon Go only from specific points of interest like a Pokestop or a gym, and other people can find that route like on the nearby, almost as if they used a rocket radar and you can like see if there's any rocket leaders nearby. They can do that with, uh, with routes. So what does routing your walking path do for Pokemon Go? Well, once you walk along and follow a route, there will be increased spawns on that route and especially increased spawns if you're using an incense. I could be mistaken about increased spawns just without the incense, but it's definitely with the incense and I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that it's uh, just increased spawns in general. Like it is supposed to be super helpful for rural players if you create a route around your neighborhood, just from like Pokestop to gym, if there are any, and then you walk along that route, you'll get a lot more spawns to spawn it up and you can actually participate in more events than just like the good luck, watch everyone having fun like Squidward does. Not only will spawns be increasing on these routes, but you will also be getting an item in game while following these routes called the Zygarde Cell. And the Zygarde cells help with the brand new legendary that has been released into the game, which we're going to get today, called Zygarde. And we're going to be getting the first form of that today called Zygarde 10% form, which is just a good puppo, actually. Once you obtain the Zygarde in the dog form, aka the 10% form, you can then use the Zygarde cells to change the form of it to the 50% form and then the complete form. The 50% form looks like a serpent and the complete form looks like a Megazord. It doesn't make sense, but when has this game ever? But all the forms look cool, so I'm not complaining. So we're gonna be getting our Zygarde today in just a moment, but the Pokemon that is going to be having increased shiny odds during this event is going to be everyone's least favorite, Young Goose. I'm looking at the official graphic from Pokemon Go and in event bonuses, it says increased chances to encounter shiny Young Goose. So it looks like it's going to be an event bonus and it's going to go back to full odds after this. And the event ends on July 4th at 8 p.m. your local time. So get in your Young Gooses now when you can. Young Goose is a Pokemon that I always see. It has often been a daily spawn. It's always in my house and it's usually something that spawns at least five times when I'm using my daily adventure incense. So getting a shiny one of these should not be a problem. Let's go ahead and load up the game here, get our first Young Goose click, have it be a shiny, and then we'll go ahead and map. Game is up, and wouldn't you know it, there's not a single Young Goose on the nearby. What do you know? A Pokemon who has plagued my existence in this game has finally decided to not show up when we have increased odds. Well, that's kind of really on brand, so I, I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, 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 never mind, never mind. There's a couple. Oh, now we're deciding to show up. Okay, so we just like proving Tom wrong. That's what we like to do. It's a fun pastime. I get it. So if there's anything I got wrong, please let me know in the comments about this video. What I got wrong with the roots, the routes, and the Zygarde's. So getting a shiny Young Goose out of the way is the top priority here, but we are also about to discover how to create a route. And also, Dodrio is spawning in the wild, which may not be exciting for a lot of people here, but I didn't really go out and hunt for Dodrio when it shiny first came out. I could have gotten one. I know I could have. It's one of the very few Kanto Pokemon that I need left for the living decks, the shiny living decks in my Pokedex. So I need to grind for that as well. So shiny Young Goose, shiny Dodrio, and let's create a route. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up the nearby real quick. There's the Pokemon, then there's raids, and then you can scroll right over to route right there, and there are no routes nearby. So uh, can I search nearby routes? No, there's nothing there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one. There's not gonna be no new routes nearby for too long. I have recently been starting my daily adventure, walking adventures at this point right here, but we're gonna go walk up to that gym and try to create our first route. And then we're gonna walk down and see if we can get a little further uh, to a Pokestop for the legendary bird route. Root. What? Okay, give me a second. I'm starting to feel like I maybe don't have this feature yet. Um, when I go over to routes, it says there's no routes nearby. And then when I try to look for the route, uh, I don't see what I could do to create one. When I go on to Pokemon Go Live, it says make a route. Okay, so we choose a Pokestop or a gym to be your starting point. Hit record to begin mapping your route. Fill out some info about your route, then submit it for review. Once accepted, trainers can follow your route. Hmm. Uh, do I not know what I'm doing? I, well, I mean, that's that's a given, but like, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. hear us, hear us, Niantic. Do I need to? Do I need Zygarde first? Do I need to go through the quest line before I can create them? From A to Zygarde. All right. 
right, well, let's go get Zygarde, and then we'll uh, try to figure that out along the way. Okay, so I asked the community on Twitter, um, how do I do this in my how to do this video? So I said, sorry for this, but is this feature out right now? Where's the record button to start this for Make a Route? And uh, follow me on Twitter, <coughs> CruiseShipYT. <coughs> and a bunch of you respond, but Filthy Poke Show showed me the picture here where if I'm on the route section of the tab, there would be the create new route button. And they say creating a route is rolling out, finding a route is possible. So I am one of the lucky ones. Oh, I'm catching something right now. Okay, I'm just loading my game up, catching something. Seven day streak, not bad. Oh, it's a squirrel with sunglasses. Oh yeah, because we're trying to do the Zygarde thing. So we needed the great throws for the A to Zygarde. I just have to hatch an egg and then I believe we're on the final step. Anyways, anyways, anyways. So if I go over to route right here, it only says search nearby routes. So I don't have one. Today's video was going to be routing the legendary bird trail, but uh, as it turns out, I do not have access to it. So we won't be doing that today. That'll be for next one. So today's video is going to be uh, the rare young goose. Okay, okay, I'm losing my balance. But we're hatching eggs right now. Maybe we could get an extra larvesta. Kabuto. Okay, wait a minute. Are the fossils already happening? What's going on? So let's claim the Zygarde there. Get the, I mean, the, the, the Pokeballs. <laughs> hey, cruise ship, you'll never guess what happened. Oh, was it that routes weren't available for everybody? When you were promoting it like crazy, as if it was a feature that I could go out and do right now? As I combed through my notes, I saw something blur past me. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm over you. I'm over you. Oh, wow, everything's just done from this page. Maybe I should have listened to Willow there. We got Great Balls, Potions, Stardust, and a Pokemon appears with what appears to be a Zygarde uh, spherical box there. So let's go ahead and claim our reward. It should say there's going to be an encounter here. Ah, the Zygarde cube. A cube. That's what a spherical box would be. Okay. It's called a cube. You learn something new every day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, here on the cruise ship, you're going to learn all sorts of things like, you know, the difference of boxes and cubes. But the Zygarde cube is not the only thing that we are about to get right now. A mysterious Pokemon has appeared. Oh, also the Zygarde cube, I believe, is the item that's going to be holding or collecting all these Zygarde cells when we go on our routes eventually. But that's not the only thing. We also have here a 100% Zygarde. Here we go. Start encounter. And there it is. The good pup. 975 CP. I did not look at what could be the hundo. So this is, this could be anything. Ooh, what would match good with you? Pokeball? No. Great ball? No. I guess Ultra Ball and last Master. But no, no, we won't do the Master Ball. We'll just do the Ultra Ball. But we need more balls in this game. This game needs more balls. Here we go. Can we hit the excellent on our one and only chance? No. Okay. It was close. It was close. It was I didn't even, I didn't gauge it. You know, it was kind of close there. Easy catch though. There it is, got the extra candy. Got three XLs, nice. And Zygar has officially been registered to the Pokedex. There we go, the 10% form. And right there, it takes 50 Zygarde cells to change the form to the 50%. Well, that makes sense. Serpent Zygarde down there. And that's actually my favorite form out of all three of them. The Megazord one, it's too Megazordy. It's too humanoid for me. Still looks cool, but I like the I like the serpent legendary. Well, without further ado, a praise. <laughs> God, why? And why would you make the attack so much better than the rest? That's not going to be helpful in Go Battle League. That's my Zygarde. That's my Zygarde. Okay, that's my Zygarde. This is my Zygarde. That is that is close to the worst Zygarde that you could get. We are like two points away from the worst. Zygarde that you could possibly get. No, you're good, dude. You're great. Great, great puppo. Ah, it's fine because today is going to be the day of glory. We will get a shiny young goose and we will also get a legendary bird in one fell swoop on this daily adventure incense. Yes, we are doing another daily incense today. So now the quest line says four out of six. I'm pretty sure it was out of four before, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be crazy. <laughs> and in order to complete this next step, we need to follow routes. I'm sure by the end of this, this will reward us some more cells, but uh, we cannot do that right now. And there are also no spawns around me, so it'll be great when we finally are able to create a route here. So what do you say, fam? Why don't we go ahead and stop squawking and get started here? Because for some reason, for the first time ever, me standing in that area, I was getting eaten alive by ants. Must be a little extra tasty today because that's never happened three two one pop and we'll get a good pace here this is the route that we will be doing soon okay just right here this straight line it'll be a, a snail trail of cruise ship after uh not too long from now and the first thing up is a bee drill interesting spawn honestly i don't think i've seen a lot of bee drills have you guys <laughs> oh look at that on the right we're gonna wait for another spawn but there is a young goose the first young goose. oh my god a shift tree check the young goose 
Mm, first one's not shiny for the day, but shift tree. Goodness. Okay, we're getting some <laughs> we're getting some rare spawns here. First Oduo check. Not it either. You're probably wondering why I seem so irritated about those rare spawns. I have a uh, superstition, if you will, that there are only a few amount of rare spawns that you can get on a daily venture incense. And so whenever it gets squandered on something like a shift tree or a bee drill, that means we might be out of luck and we might be getting nothing but plebs from here on out. Uh, it's already starting. There's the Growlithe. It's already starting. I think today is the brightest day in human existence. I cannot see a single thing on my phone. Has anything spawned? Is that is that a lily pup? That is a lily pup. As you may be able to tell, we are at two minutes of the incense and <laughs> we've been getting nothing but gulping because we probably only got about three more <laughs> encounters here. And this non-primetime incense, even though it is gorgeous out, has not produced the results that we would hope and dream for. Ooh, ponytail, you look a little too fiery. Five, th or three, four, I, I can't see. I, I, am I counting bad or can I not see? Nothing, what is that, what is that, what is that, what is that? Oh, it's a bound sweet. That one should have been called a bound sour or a bond sour. I don't even know you say your name anymore. And there it is, 20 Pokemon. We did get the bee drill and the shift tree at the beginning, which is what I think are, oh, huh. What? Yeah, I know, there was no legendary. I'm not happy about it either. And no shiny young gooses, but the event isn't over. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video goes up. Let me know if you can create routes. Let me know how your Zygarde's were and if they're better than mine. So that should be everybody commenting. Everyone should be commenting. Yeah, I got a better Zygarde because I had the bottom of the barrel. And I'm curious to see who got a good one. So with that said, take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.